Well, we are learning more tonight about a cold case mystery solved after 49 years. Imagine investigators have now identified a teenage girl whose skeletal remains were found in Josephine County near Cave Junction way back in 1971. We first told you about this case in a special report two years ago. DNA tests recently led cold case detectives to her sister who confirmed her name. Amy Fraser going beyond the headlines with more on the victim, Annie Lehman. Amy? Well, Annie was 16 years old when she disappeared from Aberdeen, Washington. Detectives would like to hear from anyone who may have had contact with her between 1970 and 1971. We have been searching for this little girl's identity for so long. She had a pink and beige coat and a mother of pearl ring with the initials AL. Over the years, investigators named her Jane Annie Doe. I think probably the most interesting and poignant thing for me is the fact that we had called her Annie all these years, and then her name ended up being Anne. 49 years after campers found her remains in the woods in Josephine County, she has her name back, Anne Marie Lehman. Friends called her Annie. We needed to find her first and last name really to start this investigation. Annie was 16 years old when she went missing from Aberdeen, Washington in the winter or spring of 1971. Some say she ran away. Others believe she was abducted and a victim of human trafficking. Investigators are now working to find out more. There's still a lot of questions in this particular case, but I think for the family, we're able to bring just a little bit of resolution to a mystery that they've been living with for decades. In March of 2018, Dr. Nikki Vance with the Oregon Medical Examiner's Office submitted some of the teen's remains to a lab for DNA testing. That lab reported some DNA results to this genetic database this genealogy database, and then the DNA Doe Project had their volunteers work on that family heritage tree. It led investigators to the teen's biological sister in Washington, who said her sister disappeared in 1971. And it really is very rewarding to be able to give her back to her family, be able to maybe even provide our investigators with some answers at this point, and really send her home, ultimately. And investigators tell me Annie's sister was a little relieved, sad, and grateful. Back to you. Amazing what this DNA evidence can now do. Amy, thank you.